too much English on it, and the puck will clear out. Yeah, Bears catch a mini break there. They're able to swap out two of their four penalty killers. Duran to the point. Rashad, again Poisson, quarterbacking from the wing. Up top, Rashad again, thought about the shot. Poisson's shot, blocked and scored! Chase Yoder had an empty net to look at after Zacher left it out, and a power play goal puts Providence on top one nothing. Yeah, Zacher making the initial stop, but had no clue where that puck wound up. Easiest goal of the season for one of the co-captains, Chase Yoder, the junior out of Fairview, Texas. And draft pick of the Pittsburgh Penguins, Barry's goal number six of the year for him. He now leads the team in that department. And it comes on the power play. After. You could just feel that one coming, Mike. The power play that the Friars had back in the second period, they were very dangerous, created a lot of chances. Bears penalty kill looked a little bit frazzled at times. And this time the Friars able to get it done. However, the Bears have found a way to get to the goal every game this season. They've not been shut out. So the one hardly decisive at this point. The Friar fans on the near side try to get behind their team. Again, a pretty even crowd, as you tend to expect. Oh, and Zacher misplayed it! It popped up off of Lawton, Zacher, and into the net. And Tage Harding is going to make the Friars 2 nothing leaders. Oh, an absolute disaster there for the Bears. One goal deficit. You think, okay, maybe all you need is that one. Now two down against the fifth best defense in the nation in terms of goals allowed. Yeah, but that's that's one you can't give up. No, like, no, I mean, no. I, well, let's call it what it is. That's the old softy. Engelbert's shot wide. L right side, another shot toward the empty net. Bliss trying to regroup behind his own net. And now the Bears will lead the attack out with about two minutes remaining. Well, they caught a break when Engelbert lost his stick for a little bit. Oh, uh, tough time for a change there. And finished by Craig Needham. Tough time, tough spot for a line change, tough spot for a turnover, and an even tougher spot to give up a third. Well, the grad student from Medford, Mass, picks up his second goal of the season, an empty netter, and that should secure the Mayor's Cup for the Friars. Well, once the Bears had that puck, uh, you know, down in their own end, they really struggled to get organized, Mike, and Needham, Dips in, and, and that's the game, folks. Uh, you know, and it's two nothing. You think you get that next point? Then, 1945 in the third period, you might see that call made. But and the uh, Friars will skate it off and win the Mayor's Cup. A three nothing final from here at Me and Auditorium, and. You know, a good third period from Providence. You know, they, they did what they needed to do defensively, Mike. I, I don't think, you know, the, the first goal, the Yoder goal, was, was really gift-wrapped. The second goal was a giveaway, and then an empty netter. So it's their defense, I think, that won them this game. Yeah, I mean, you look at they only limited the Bears to 15 shots on goal. Defense was the priority for the Friars. They got it done. They came alive on the dots as well. And uh, in the end... Three different goal scorers, Chase Yoder, Tage Harding, and Craig Needham, the difference tonight. And that's been the story for Providence all year. A lot of balance as we say farewell from me and Auditorium. They, uh, well, actually, we're going to wait a second. There's going to be the presentation of the Mayor's Cup to the Friars, so we're going to hold on to it here. We mentioned earlier today Providence will uh, take on, uh, they'll actually take on a Canadian college uh, midweek before they take on Boston College in a home and home in a couple. The Bears will take on uh, Union and RPI next weekend. And uh, again, a little bit of history made, I think, tonight with Luke Chris for the Friars right. becoming the first player that we can think of um, that has earned a Mayor's Cup playing for both Brown and Providence. I believe Karen Thatcher did it for the women. She transferred to uh, Providence College after, I believe, her sophomore year as a uh, women's hockey player at Brown. And I believe she did win a Mayor's Cup for both teams.
there's there uh, Luke, Chris, and Brendan with it, exchanging an embrace. And again, you know, at the end of the day, this is such a special place for Luke, Chris, as well, former captain and leader of this program. Well, he had so a letter on his sweater for a couple of years and uh, had the very difficult task, I think, Mike, of, of being a leader after there was no hockey yeah. for a season. And Cam McDonald and Chase Yoder will uh, go f f to pick up the trophy. Mayor isn't in the house tonight, uh, but... I believe somebody from uh, Brown Athletics has to relinquish control of the trophy from a year ago. That is not the mayor, folks. <laughs> Just uh, for those of you who are keeping track at home. But the Priors will take the trophy back to Elmhurst and uh, a trophy game for Providence as they capture the Mayor's Cup. Taking it back from Brown, who defeated him last year. You know, this is one that means a lot to both of these teams. So with that now, folks, we will say good night from me and Auditorium. A 15-save shutout for uh, 